Yo, what's up everyone? Jed Rocks here. Today is uh, a good day. It's Filipino Appendance Day here in Vancouver, BC. We're going to check out some festivities here. And uh, we're going all guerrilla style with old microphone. Uh, uh, when we first started, this is what we used. And we're going back to our grassroots. So today we're going to go around, talk to people, and uh, talk about their culture and ask them why they're proud of being Filipino-Canadian. What's up everyone? Jed Rocks here. I'm with Ria, the host of the event. And uh, yeah, uh, tell us about your Filipino-Canadian heritage. Where were you born and raised here? Uh, so I was actually born in New Market in Ontario. I have military on my dad's side, so we moved up and down the, the West Coast. Uh, finally settled in Burnaby when I was about four or five. And then I spent about a year's worth of time in the Philippines. So I lived in Malina for a little bit. Um, and my favorite place in the world is Boracay. I mean, I know that's kind of a cliche answer, but you heard it here first. Boracay is the bomb.com. Yeah. So are you half Filipino or full Filipino? So I identify as Filipino-Irish. Um, I mean, there's obviously like a breakdown down from like multiple years of but mom's side is Filipino and dad's side is Irish French. So what really makes you proud to be Filipino Canadian? What doesn't? I mean we got everything man. We can sing, we can dance, we can act, we can do things on, on the flip of a script and you know now I'm starting to see more journalists like yourself, other people out there who are getting involved. Like whatever you throw at us, we are so ready for it. So I'm just so proud of how versatile and welcoming and just we kill it no matter what we do. And last question, Balut or Dinuan? Oh, I have to choose? Okay, if there's Puto involved, it's gonna be Dinuan. Yeah, there you go. Thank you so much. We have one follower, uh, your Instagram app? Uh, it's at R I A R E N O U F, and that's across all socials so TikTok, Twitter, uh, and, and of course Instagram. Awesome, follower everyone. Yo, what's up? We're here at the food section at this event here at Filipino Heritage Weekend. Let's go check out what they have in store. All right, so right now we're here at the Pampanga's Cuisine booth here and the tent, and let's go check out what they got. The other stuff looks caldereta, dinuguan, menudo. Uh, oh, that's chop suey here. That is sisig, and I think that's banana cue. Oh, toron. So yeah, that is toron. Banana. Oh, deep fried banana, right? Yeah, they, they that's brown sugar and everything. All right, so we're here at uh, the Plato Filipino booth, and it looks like so. This looks like it's Caldereta. That's the new one. Hi, we're just doing a little segment here. They have some awesome pancit, and that's falabok. And there's a Filipino spaghetti, and they got lumpia over there. Ah, uh, it looks all yummy. I think I'm gonna get some. Full. I'm gonna get full over here. The whole is like the Filipino bubble tea, but instead the tapioca balls are on the top instead of the bottom, and on the bottom is more of a, a pudding, more like a tofu texture. And the history I know about this is when I was in the Philippines when I was a young kid, I'd be in the jeepney, and as we stopped, there'd be people people around screaming the ha, the ha, the ha, and I go, Mom, what's going on? Are they fighting outside? And they go, no, they're just selling this stuff. And it came like in a bucket, in a metal bucket, and they would pour it in a cup for you. Yo, I'm with the one and only Sammy Joe. How are you today? I'm great, thank you. What does it mean to you to be Filipino Canadian? You know, I have this um, sense of obligation and duty. I was born in Winnipeg, Manitoba, um, and coming, uh, living in Vancouver, uh, I also got to go back and forth to the Philippines, and it was a privilege. And every time I went back home to the Philippines, I found it an obligation to really represent our culture in Canada and keep our language, history, and uh, and traditions alive in Canada. Oh, that's so awesome. Right, last question. But look for the new one. Ooh, can I say neither? One or the other. Oh man, I would there you go, Sammy Joe with you, you know, go on. <laughs> awesome, thanks, Sammy. Thank you so much. Back again, I'm with one of the other founders, James Aquanti. How are you? Doing well, good to see you. What makes you really, really proud to be Filipino Canadian? You know, to, to me, it is um, uh, our ability to be resilient. You know, I think so much about the stories of Filipinos here. Um, you know, it's challenging, but it's also really inspiring. And to me, what's inspiring is the resiliency that Filipinos have in uh, coming to a place uh, that, in many ways, uh, they, they may not choose, uh, but making that place be home for, for them and so many others. Oh, that's awesome. Right, last question. The new one or Balut? Oh, the new one all the way, all the way. <laughs> yeah, 
I'm with Vancouver MLA, Mabel Elmo. How are you today? Hey, I'm doing great. Great to see you. What makes you really proud to be Filipino Canadian? Really good. Well, I'm uh, born and raised in, uh, in Canada. I went to the Philippines for the first time when I was 10 years old. And I uh, stayed there for three months, so I went to school there. And every day after school, we went swimming in the ocean and ate mangoes. And uh, yeah, it changed my life. June 12th was my mom's uh, fiesta. Oh, nice. They celebrate that in the town, town hall plaza like this, right? And we found, my mom's family cooked so much food, and there were like people lined up and down the block. I'm like, Mama, how many people are coming to eat, right? And people who are less fortunate, you know, families that are hungry, you know, we feed them, right? Yeah. And so, yeah, it just made a big impact on the Last question. Yeah. Did you go on a bullet? That's a good question. Bullet. Yeah. Bullet, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. She can manifest, I pray she let us rap like cabbages. Yeah,